Hey everybody, this is Anonto and welcome to Sengineering. Today I'll be talking about thermodynamics and solving a problem from chapter 2. Before I start solving the problem, I'd like you to know the book I'm using. I'm using Introduction to Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics 7th edition by Smith. Alright, so for today's problem, we have one mole of gas in a closed system that undergoes a four-step thermodynamic cycles. And we have been given uh, the following table, the following information, and we have been asked to find the missing quantities. So before I start solving the problem, I'd like you to know that in thermodynamics, we have a lot of equations. But first, to use those equations, you have to know what they really mean and how you can use it. This problem emphasizes on the energy balance for closed system equation. And after solving this problem, you'll be able to understand uh, what that equation means and how you can use this equation to solve other problems. So we have four steps and for each step we have internal energy change, we have Q and we have W. So first let's look at step one to two. For step one to two we have been given the change in internal energy and W but we don't know Q and we also know this is a closed system and this is the change in internal energy and from equation 2.3, we know for a closed system, the change in internal energy is equal to Q plus W. And we've been asked to find what the value of Q is. So we have one unknown variable and one equation. If we just plug in the value of delta U and W in this equation, we can get Q very easily. There you go, the value of Q. Let's look at step two to three. For step two to three, we only have Q, we don't know delta U, we don't know W. So that means we have two unknown variables, but we have only one equation, which means we won't be able to solve it, which means we will not be able to solve it for now. So let's move on to step three to four. Let's see uh, what they have given us for step three to four. For step three to four, we have Q, we have W, and they have asked us to find out delta U. So we have one unknown variable, one equation, pretty easy, just plug and chuck. If you uh, plug in the number from the table, you'll be able to find out what delta U is for step three to four. So after finding these two unknown variables, this is how our table looks. Now let's look at step two to three and four to one. We still have two unknown variables for these two steps and we only have one equation uh, for closed system. So that means we won't be able to solve for step two to three and step four to one right now. So what else can we solve right now? Well, if you look at step one to two, two to three, three to four and four to one, the overall step of the process. So let's look at what's happening to our gas in this overall step. First, our one mole of gas goes from one to two. And then it undergoes some changes and we have change in internal energy which we know and then our gas goes from 2 to 3 and some change happens and for this step we don't know the change in internal energy after that our gas goes from 3 to 4 and some change happens we know the change in internal energy and finally our gas goes from 4 to 1 some change happens which is 4700 so if you look closely our gas started from initial state and then finally returned to where it started from. And as you know, internal energy is a state function and we are measuring only the change in internal energy. So if our internal energy of our gas returns to its original state, it means the overall change for the whole process is zero. So if delta U for the overall process is zero, then we can easily say that delta U for the whole process is equal to delta U for step one to two, plus delta U for step two to three, plus delta U for step three to four, plus delta U for step four to one is equal to zero. And if we just plug in the number, we can easily determine delta U for two to three. So our table looks like this. And if you look at step two to three, we figured out delta u our q has been given and we just have to find out w now we have one unknown variable and we know from equation uh, delta u is equal to q plus w we plug in 
and we get W for step two to three is minus 200 joule. We have also been given the W for the whole process, which is minus 1400. And we just determined W for step two to three and we have been asked to find W for four to one. So we can write W for the whole process is the sum of individual four steps. And now you might ask why W is not equal to zero. It is because W is not a state function and we are not determining the change in W. So if you just plug in the numbers, you can easily determine W for step four one. And now our table looks like this. So we figured out almost every unknown variable. Now we can find out what Q for step four one is. We know from equation uh, 2.3 delta u is equal to q plus w we plug in the numbers and we get q for step 4 1 and finally we have to determine q for whole process as you know w and q they're not state functions so q for the whole process will be summation of q for individual steps and if you just plug in the numbers you can get 1400 joules also you can apply equation 2.3 for the whole process one two three four one and figure out q for one two three four one and it will give you the same answer with this i conclude my video and thanks for watching if you have liked this video please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel sanctioneering if you have any comment questions or recommendation for this video please comment down below and let us know and stay safe